just reflecting about what we've been doing over the last few days. Remember last weekend when we made the forecast that this would really be a bad week? As I mentioned yesterday and the day before, it is, in the sense of deaths, a bad week. In fact, every day there seems to be a record of number of deaths compared to the day before. In fact, New York today had, again, another record of, I think the city itself was about 820 plus deaths. But what we were predicting with the increase and the real adherence to the physical separation, the guidelines that the Vice President talks about, the physical separation, at the same time as we're seeing the increase in deaths, we're seeing rather dramatic decrease in the need for hospitalizations. Like I think yesterday was something like 200 new hospitalizations, and it's been as high as 1,400 at any given time. So that is going in the right direction. I say that, and I always remind myself when I say that, that means that what we are doing is working, and therefore we need to continue to do it. I know I sound like a broken record. That's good. I want to sound like a broken record. Let's just keep doing it. I get questions a lot, Dr. Burks and I, about these numbers, the projections that you went with from 100,000, 200,000, now down to 60,000. That's a sign that when, as I keep saying, when you take the data you have and you reinsert it into the model, the model modifies. Data is real. Model is hypothesis. Okay? So that's what you have to do, and that's what I think we're seeing. The other thing that's some just broad, general good news from the standpoint of a scientific standpoint, that there are a lot of candidate potential therapeutics that are going into clinical trials now that we're sponsoring at the NIH, the kinds of clinical trials that will give us the answer. Are they safe? Are they effective? And just what is the, the capability of using them under what circumstances? As prophylaxis, as treatment, in early disease, in late disease. So as the time goes by and we have the public health measures to try and contain this, we're doing an awful lot from a scientific standpoint so that when we do get to next year, next fall, next winter, hopefully we'll have something that we can offer in addition to the very important public health measures.